everybody. Welcome to this week's video. Well, we took last weekend off. Um, we were off from the racing, so we decided to take a break from the video. Um, Steven had some things going on and I had some things going on. Went out of town to see Jade. So here we are again this week. Uh, as you can see, we're outside enjoying the, the beautiful fall weather here. Um, basically what we had is, is when we went to Ace a couple weeks ago, uh, I qualified on the pole. We inverted the top three we ran four laps and it started raining. So when we came back to ACE this last time, uh, I actually had to, they restarted the race with four laps on the board. Um, so I was third. It was a double file cone restart rule. So basically what they did, it was the 22, the 65, and then me. The 65 went to the outside and um, the first restart, uh, he actually got back down in front of me. Uh, the car, the car, the, the track was kind of greasy. The, the, the car wasn't quite where I needed it to be. I think a whole lot of that was because um, when you get your tires hot, and heat cycles is, is, is probably as bad on your tires as the wear is. So um, when you got your tire good and hot, and then it starts raining, and you put that cool water on them, they harden up. Uh, I don't want to say they crystallize, but they do harden up. Well, with the, after that happened and they sat in the truck for a week and a half, we came back, the tires just weren't as, as soft and as gummy uh, as they were previously. So the, the lack of grip, I think everybody was fighting the lack of grip. In practice, the car was good on 200 lap tires, so I didn't make much change to it. Like I said, when the race came around and the, the car felt kind of greasy, um, the 65 got back down in front of me. We had another restart, the 65 went to the outside and I actually got in front of him. Uh, we ran that way for a while. We had another restart and I went to the outside of the 22. I don't know how many, it felt like 50, but uh, I think it was about three laps. We ran door to door and he finally cleared and, and I got back down in behind him. Uh, there was, I was going to get one more shot at it. Um, even though Ace is, is bigger than Bowman Gray and it's got a little bit of banking, it's still tough to pass at Ace. So, um, especially when you've got the lack of grip like we had. Um, I got one more shot at it and we went down in three and four and he rooted me up a little bit and uh, took off. I wouldn't say early, we were in the box, but uh, after after giving me the little nudge and then and then taking off, uh, it just it just eliminated my chance of being able to make a pass from the outside. Uh, it's nothing that I wouldn't have done, it was just, uh, just hard racing, but um, whenever that happened, the 65 was able to go with the 22 and uh, was able to, to take second away from me. So the first race, we finished third. Uh, you know, we documented where we were and our, our tire temps and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we made several adjustments for the second race to, uh, to tighten the car up, to try to get some of that grip back. The problem is, is when you start tightening the car up, if you, if you get it to where your car, uh, you tighten it up too much that you lose your front grip, uh, then you've just created two problems. So uh, for the second race, I was supposed to start fifth after the redraw, uh, or after the invert. Um, we got going and I got up to, uh, to second, and uh, I actually ran second in that race. The 65 won the race. Uh, I would have liked to have had a, a, a chance to, to a double file restart with the 65 to, to, to have a shot at it. But uh, a third in the first race, a second in the second race. Uh, I think we're still leading the points by a couple points on the 22. Uh, Jason's third, so not you know not too bad a night, but you know anytime you know anybody that knows me enough to know how I feel about my racing, uh, I want to win every time. So I'm not. I think I told the, the, the announcer uh, I wasn't satisfied, but I was happy. So uh, we'll, we've documented where we were. We'll make changes, and I think next time when we go back uh, in two weeks, I think we'll be where we need to be. It'll be a daytime race. I think the first race is at maybe one or two o'clock. Uh, something like that, maybe even three o'clock. So it'll be a day race to where it won't get cool and uh, hopefully we'll have a little bit of grip. If the weather's like this, uh, it should be a good day for racing. But coming up this weekend, um, we got Caraway. Uh, it's our last race of the year at Caraway for the Southern Modified Tour. Um, in several weeks, in about mid-October, we've got uh, our last race of the year at Charlotte. It's on Thursday night during poll night uh, of the Cup guys. So that's always a, a good event. Uh, that'll be our last race of the year, but um, like I said, this weekend's Caraway coming up. Uh, I've taken my tour motor and put in my stadium car. My stadium car is the car I've been running uh, the last several weeks. We ran it at Langley, we run it at Ace, and we ran it at Thompson. 
uh, at Thompson. We finished fourth at Ace. I had a second and a third. And Corey LaJoy was leading in it at uh, Langley until we had a problem. So uh, I, I kind of feel like when we get to where we're off a little bit on our chassis or our handling, I can always go back to Old Faithful. That car's probably won 120 something races uh, in its lifetime. So hopefully uh, we're, we're looking for good things this weekend at Caraway. Um, it's just, you know, Caraway's always been that thorn in our side. I haven't won there since 05. Uh, I used to back in the day win there, you know, several times a year. So hopefully we can get back in the stream of things. If we can take the stadium car and get it good and, and know where we are on it, um, because I don't want to make it sound like that the other cars aren't as good as the stadium car, but the stadium car, I've run it for so long and, and so many times that I kind of know what adjustments to make to the car to make it do certain things. So if we can get the stadium car good there, then we, that, that teaches us what we need to do to the other cars to, to help them out there. So uh, anyway, the, the weather looks good for this weekend. Um, I think it's a normal, normal Caraway show. I don't know all the times and qualifying and all that, but if you're familiar with Caraway, I think it's just a normal Caraway day. So um, thanks to everybody that we saw a lot of people at the, the autograph session at Ace and all that kind of stuff. Thanks to everybody that's that's buying our merchandise and, and all that kind of stuff too. Um, you know, we always love to see people supporting the Dirty South. Thanks to my sponsors. Thanks to all my crew, my family, everybody that makes this happen. Uh, we'll be at Caraway this weekend, so come out and see us.